6th grade, Module 4, Lesson 4, Classwork. Build subtraction equations using the indicated equations. The first example has been completed for you. So they gave us the division equation, 12 divided by x equals 4, and we needed to turn that into a subtraction problem, draw a tape diagram for it, and then say what the variable is equal to. They did the first one for us, so let's do um, the next one. So 18 divided by x equals 3. So what I'm going to do is draw my tape diagram first. And I know that something is equal to 3. So the size of each group, there are three groups. So 18 divided by something was equal to 3. Well, what were we dividing by? So I could, I need there to be 18 individual marks. So 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6. So there's 6 in each of these spaces. So there's 18. So what we have is 18 minus, there's 6 in the first group, 6 in the second group, 6 in the third group, and we end up with 0. So we could also write that as 18 minus, each one was represented by x. And x was equal to, there were 6 in each group. So x is equal to 6. So we can say 6 units per group. OK, 35 divided by y equals 5. So I'm going to draw my tape diagram first. It's 35, so it's going to be pretty big here. 35 divided by y equals 5. So there's going to be 5 sections. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And if I were to do 35 and split it into 5 groups, then in each group there would be 7, because 35 divided by 5 is 7. So I'm going to split these into 7. What I have is 35 minus 7 minus 7 minus 7 minus 7 minus 7, five groups of 7, and we end up with 0. If we were to write that where the divisor indicates the size of the unit, we were working with y, so y here is 7. We would have 35 minus y, and we're going to do it five times. and it ended up being 0. And then the last one, 42 divided by z equals 6. Again, this is pretty big, so make a really long tape diagram. 42 divided by z equals 6. We're going to have 6 sections. So there's my 6 sections, and then in each section, if I split 42 into six different sections, then there would be seven in each section. So what we started with was 42 minus, there's seven in each section. So minus seven, six different times. That was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that's equal to 0. So here our z was equal to 7. And if I were to write it, I would have 6 different z's. Kind of ran out of room there. I'll write it down here just so it's a little clearer. 
So 42 minus, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Zs. Okay. So here we were talking about the units per group. So this is, there were seven units in each group. And then I didn't write it down up here either. In this one, there were also seven units per group. The next chart is a little bit different. They have the same division equations, but this time we're going to use the divisor to indicate the number of units rather than the size of the groups. So I'm going to start by drawing my tape diagram. And you can see here, there were, instead of separating it into four equal groups, they counted four in each group. Whereas before, what we did was separated into four different groups. One, two, three, four. So the blue is what we did before, purple is what we're going to do for this stage. We still come out with the same answer because of the commutative property. So I'm going to split this into 18. And then I'm going to separate them into groups of three because that's what it tells me to do. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have 18 minus three, minus three, minus three, minus three, minus three, minus three is zero. And so we could say that there are six groups and that x six. And then we just need to write the subtraction equation. Rewrite it, we've already written it, but 18 minus three, six different times. There's three, four, five, six is equal to zero. All right, 35 divided by five equals y. So I need to divide this into 35 equal pieces. And now I need to separate them into groups of five. So one, two, three, four, five. There's one. One, two, three, four, five. 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 And one, two, three, four, five. So what we end up with is 35 minus 5, minus 5, minus 5, minus 5, minus another 5, and then two more, and we end up with 0. So each group, y is equal to, we have how many groups? If we count them up. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So y is equal to seven. And then if we want to rewrite the equation, we're just going to subtract five, seven times. Okay, and the last one, Let's do 42. So start by making your tape diagram. It's almost the hardest part when the numbers are this big. Okay. 
and now I'm going to separate them into group sizes of six. So there's my first group of six, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we get seven groups of six. So that means that y is equal to seven, or sorry, it's z. And we had, I'll just write our equation over here, 42 minus, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven groups of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is equal to zero. Exercise two. If 12 divided by x is equal to three, how many times would x have to be subtracted from 12 in order to an for the answer to be zero? What's the value of x? So 12 divided by x is equal to three. So we can do it multiple ways. Um, I'm going to just split it into three groups. And then 12 divided by three, there needs to be four in each of these. So 12 minus four minus four minus four is equal to zero. So the value of x would be four. And x would, answer the first question, how many times would x have to be subtracted? It would need to be subtracted one, oops, one, two, three times. And B, 36 minus F minus F minus F minus F equals zero. Write a division sentence for this repeated subtraction sentence. What is the value of F? So there's multiple equations we could write. So I notice we have one, two, three, four f's. So I'm gonna do 36 divided by four would be equal to one f. And in this case, 36 divided by four is nine, so f would be equal to nine. Another equation you could do would you could make it 36 divided by f equals four. That would work as well. And in the same scenario, 36 divided by nine is equal to four, so f is still equal to nine. And c, if 24 divided by b equals 12, which number is being subtracted 12 times in order for the answer to be zero? So it's saying 24 minus something, we're gonna subtract it 12 different times, would be zero. Well, if I did 24 divided by 12, I get two. So I need to subtract two 12 different times. I think that's 12. Yep, would be equal to zero. So the answer is 